Hey guys, Kimberly here. And today I want to share with you a little more advanced type of spreadsheet that I use. I shared something about this over in one of our leader groups and some of you guys wanted more information about it. You wanted the spreadsheet, but for me to share the spreadsheet with you, you have to kind of know what's going on with it because there are some advanced formulas in this spreadsheet. Now, first and foremost, I need to make sure that I do mention that this is a Cincy specific video. So if you're with another company, maybe you can figure out how to how to do this for yours. Um, and second, this spreadsheet was given to me by my dear friend, Edna Smith, who is also a Google Sheets spreadsheet lover. So she has also been tracking her stuff for a really long time. And I decided to jump on her bandwagon and use this sheet. So all props go to her. Um, I added in a different little space that will calculate all in one spreadsheet, my commission every single day. But let's jump over to the spreadsheet and I will show you what it looks like. I'll also show you some stuff from the workstation. So let's go to the spreadsheet. All right, so the link to this exact spreadsheet is down below in the description of this video. So everything I'm gonna talk about, you can have this open side by side and you can kind of follow along. When we go over to the workstation, I'll show you, you have to create a report to match this exactly. If you change something, if you take something out, if you move things around, the formulas won't work. So we have our level, name, title, projected title, projected rank, lifetime PRV, PRV, TWV, GWV, their team size, group size, number of active frontline, how many new recruits they have, the date they joined, the state they're in, their shooting star date, sensational start date, and enroller. And then I have this spacer here, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Uh, but then I have these two, and this is where some of the formulas start kicking in. So what this is going to do is once you have two days, so down here at the bottom, you can see this says March 3rd. So once you have a second tab, March 4th, we'll be able to pull data. Um, and I will show you what that looks like here in just a second. But over here, this is where you can see up here at the top, we got some major formula action going over here. So what this is doing, this one right here is looking to see how many of my front line, and you can see my 0.1s, how many of my front line I have at Essential Certified Lead, how many I have at each title, so that way I can visually get a good representation of what my team looks like. Um, and then this column right here is going to pull their TWV and it's gonna calculate it. So I'll know exactly how much TWV from Essential Certified I have. And then this column is going to times that by director commissions. So if you are below director, you're going to need to change the percentages. So for example, right here, we're at 9% for essential. So each one is going to be something different. And then down here, we get down to my PRV. And this is where the whole commissions thing come into place. But let me jump over to the workstation and I'll show you how to get the information from your workstation over into this spreadsheet. So one thing you can do, and this is what I do, is I copy paste from the workstation. Now, some of you might want to export to Excel. I completely bypass that step and there's a simple way to do it. So for me, I took out all of my team's information, right? I only left mine um, for confidentiality purposes, but you can see I have the exact same headers as in that spreadsheet, the level, the name, title, the lifetime PRV, their shooting start dates, and the enroller. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and you do that from here, choose visible columns. So you just, you know, take it away as the minus, plusing it is adding it. One thing to keep in mind is sometimes the lifetime PRV, whenever you add it, even though you put it where you want it over here, it'll end up here at the end. So make sure you put lifetime PRV where it is supposed to go. One additional detail, um, after you're done choosing visible columns, make sure that you do a couple of things before you save it. Make sure you do results per page 250, because trust me, it's gonna be a time saver. You don't wanna do 50 at a time if you have more than 50. And then another thing that it's going to help you down the road is to sort this by join date you want the newest person to be at the very, very top. Why this is gonna come in handy is because if you have someone join in between your tabs, once you have your visible columns where they're supposed to be, you have 250 results, you've sorted by join date with the newest person on top, save your report and name it. I just named mine full team spreadsheet. So from here, 
you can export to Excel, but I like to copy. So I just really click and highlight. And one tip, which is very important, is once you get to the very bottom of your spreadsheet copying, do not copy all the way. I know it sounds really weird, but don't copy all the way. Just copy like halfway through the name or it's not going to paste correctly. So I'm going to copy Command C. I'm going to come back over to my spreadsheet and then Command V, paste it in. So you can see everything fits perfectly. Now, if you have, of course, you're going to have multiple people underneath you. So what is going to happen is this first row, like me, it's going to paste in perfectly just like this. But everyone else is going to be shifted over a column. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Everyone's going to be shifted over. And so that is why this blank column is so important. So that way it doesn't mess with your formulas. And again, if you export to Excel, it's going to save you that problem. But to me, it's just easier to do it this way. So what I do is I just come over here, copy. I command X to cut it, right, to delete it out, and then paste it in. Not everybody's in the right space. Okay, so for me, I don't have any star directors below me. So I haven't added that in here. But once you get this spreadsheet, if you are a superstar director and you have star directors below you and superstar directors, that will be added in over here for you. But for this example, I'm going to change a couple of things. So that way, when we paste it into the second one, you'll be able to see how this works. So give me just a second. Okay, so I have manipulated some things to be able to show you. So I have changed the level from zero, which is myself to I have three frontline, then I have a second, third and fourth generation. And then I changed the titles. And then I changed the PRV and the TWV. And you can see what happened over here on this side. It tells me I have one essential consultant, right? Right here. And they're bringing in 750 TWV. And then look, it's calculating. It's already calculating. So my commission so far is $283. Pretty cool, huh? So let's say that you have everything already in and now it's the next day. I normally do this either at night or the, the next morning for the previous day. So let's say it's um, March 4th. To do this, all you have to do is just come down to the, the tab, click on that little arrow and duplicate. It's gonna give you a copy. I'm gonna move that in front. We'll keep the, the most recent date at the front. So now we have March 4th. Okay, so now nothing's changed, right? We've just duplicated it. But in March 4th, let's say that now people have put in PRV. So let's say that we have some PRV increases. Let's go ahead and increase some people's PRV. Okay, so now let's jump to these formulas that make everything happen. So over here under T where it says ref, right, for reference, we need to update this formula. So right now this lookup, it means it's looking for other tabs to collaborate with, right? So right now it's looking at March 4th, which is what we want. We want it to look at A2, which is right here. And then we want it to look for March 3rd, right? We want it to look at this tab. We want to compare to the previous day. So we need to change this to the third. And look at that. So yesterday's PRV, remember, was 500. I increased it by 100. And then this formula is going to tell me how much PRV difference this person had. So I want to go through and tell you a little bit more. So on mine, mine goes through T125. So um, for this one, it goes through R7. So we can totally change that. That's fine. Um, but one thing to remember, this seven is going to be a game changer for you. If you add columns, take columns away, move things around, that's going to be the difference changer for you. The seven is the number column that the PRV is in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so if we put it in eight, which is the TWV, it's gonna give us a different response. So we need to make sure that it stays at seven. Bada bing. So what I do from here is I highlight these top two cells and I drag it down. Pretty cool, huh? Let me do it one more time. So let's duplicate and then we'll go over and we'll look at the commissions. March 5th. All right, looking at March 5th, 
let's update these numbers again. So if we come back over here, this is something that if you're doing this, you have to do it every day. You have to update it every single day because it's always going to be the last day. There's going to be a gap. So you can see now it says March 5th, which is correct. That's what we're on, but it's doing March 3rd. So we need to change this to March 4th and hit enter. So you can see it's updated now. So now we just have to click on the top, drag it down, and you can see those numbers have now updated. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's come over here to this commission. So let's say over here, I normally, I'm in here somewhere, right? Because it's my team. I am in my team. So for my PRV, I just find where I am. And again, this goes by join date. So I normally have to scroll back to the very beginning to find where I am. So let's say that my PRV is here. Okay, so it is in G. 15. So I come over here to PRV, you do equals G15 or wherever, whatever cell it is, equals whatever that cell. And then you can see it starts breaking down my commission. So I had 2000 PRV. So this is going to be how much money I earned off of that PRV. Then down here, my TWV, it's going to times it by 75% to give me my TWV. And then this equation here is going to be the leadership bonus that I unlock. So for me, it's 9%. Again, if you are lower than director, you're going to have to change that percentage. And if you're less than 2000 PRV, you're going to need to change this down to either 20 or 25%, whatever you're making off your commission. But if you guys have any questions, just put it down below. Let me know. Bye guys.